Hi, I'm Johnny Weir, and I'm in the red room backstage at Bethany, and we're going to play Would You Ever. Feels very Hunger Games to reach into a bowl and choose something. Would you ever return to amateur skating? I just recently retired from competitive skating that you see in the Olympic Games, and I've become professional now. So I'll tour the world and, and hopefully the United States uh, performing and doing what I love, which is, which is skating and the theatrical costumes and the music and, and everything like that. Um, figure skating is, is a sport that's for the young. Would you ever report a competitor for cheating? Absolutely. Would you ever boycott any Olympics for any reason? I absolutely would never boycott an Olympics. I watched my mother work extra jobs, jobs that were beneath her. I watched my father sell, a, sell one of his cars to go to the Olympics to watch me perform. Um, I watched my little brother live not so much of a normal childhood uh, because my, my mom and I were traveling all the time and for that to happen, my parents had to cut corners and save money and, and uh, for anyone to boycott the Olympics is really boycotting these families and these athletes' lives. Would you ever model on the catwalk? Funnily enough, my first experience at New York Fashion Week was modeling for the then company Heatherette. And then the following year I modeled for them again. And, and it seems every Fashion Week since, I have walked for somebody. Would you ever compete with an injury? Part of being an Olympian and part of being an athlete is constantly competing with injury. There was one year when I was growing between 16 and 17 years old and I had a stress fracture that was about, always constantly about four millimeters or three millimeters, something crazy like that, from breaking my leg bone in half. But I had to keep training and competing. It's part of the job. That strength that I had to learn as a child, I'll carry on for the rest of my life, that no matter what, the show must go on. Calling all my girls.